Was I born in the right generation? Oftentimes that question floats in my mind time and time and time and time again. Whenever I see certain news articles, whenever I read certain things, whenever I see certain things on Instagram and social media, that question floats in my head. Now, first and foremost, let me just start by saying, ladies and gentlemen, that I do love our generation. I do for the most part, love the day and age that we're living in. I think that we have seen a lot of amazing things. We have seen the birth of a lot of amazing things. But on the other hand, we have seen a lot of bullshit, a lot of brain rot. Sometimes I question, am I living in the right generation? Because I see idiocy pedestalized and enlightenment shunned. So I see idiocy pedestalized and enlightenment shunned. Now, what do I mean by that? I feel like in this day and age, we pedestalize things that are not good or things that are counterproductive in order to have a good life. And the things that can contribute to us having a good life, we shun them. So I'm a colored person. I'm a minority. I'm Puerto Rican. And I can't tell you how many other Puerto Ricans I have came into contact with who unfortunately went down the wrong path in life. They champion being in a gang. They champion violence. They champion criminal activity. And they shun going to college. They shun getting a education. And it's just like, bro, why are we living so backwards? You know what I mean? And now let me give you a less dramatic or intense example, right? New, the news, for example, if a story comes out about the Kardashians, like everybody is talking about it. But if a story makes the news talking about a new discovery in astronomy, Nobody, I mean, you would be lucky if you, you, you would be lucky if even half the population is talking about it, right? Like the only thing, like the eclipse, for example, everybody was talking about it, but like for the wrong reasons. It was mainly to like see who could get like a picture for social media, for Instagram. It wasn't talking about eclipses. Like people weren't talking about eclipses to like, you know, educate themselves on eclipses. Why does it happen? Where does it typically happen? Um, you know, things of that nature. I just feel like we live in a day and age where drama and celebrity worship, praising, you know, criminal activity, like all of that is like at the tip of the pyramid. But when it comes to education, you know, like everything, everything that is beneficial to us in life is deemed as boring or whack or nerdy or geeky. It always has this negative connotation to it. And that's, that's when I question, like, was I brought into the right generation? Because I just feel like previous generations from the videos I've watched, uh, from the people I've talking to, from older generations, they say it wasn't like that, right? Like, I just feel like in this day and age, like, how many people have we made famous that have contributed absolutely nothing to society, like the only reason why they're popular is because of how of how much of a nuisance they can be in in public or they just do things for attention or they say like things for shock value like we have pedestalized so many people and we have given so many people fame and attention and love that don't deserve it but then if a scientist were to discover like a new element in the periodic table, nobody cares. Nobody bats an eye. I just feel like we're living like, you know, it's almost like the upside down in Stranger Things, bro. Like everything is just backwards. Everything is just inverted. The things that should be pedestalized, the things that should be worshipped, the things that should like, like we should be looking up to astronomers and we should be looking up to doctors and 
neuro neuroscientists and fine artists and you know game directors and you know marine biologists like these are the people that we should be making celebrities like these are the people that we should be champion championing championing but instead we instead of like you know pedestalizing those people or and when i mean pedestalizing i don't mean like they're better than everybody else like i i mean like we should be just simply looking up to these people right like these people should be the ones in the in 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 the news articles these people should be all over instagram these people should be making headlines like these are the people that we should be focusing on publicly but that's never the case instead it's always like some like really pretty girl that um you know who just got like famous just because she's really pretty and says like outlandish outlandish misandrous things or this guy like or guys like andrew tate in the manosphere who shame women and talk shit about women and you know drive these fucking exotic cars like you know what i'm saying like we just put so much attention and like our eyes are directed towards individuals that don't warrant it. You know what I mean? Like there are so many eyes pointed at individuals who don't deserve it, you know? And I don't know. I just feel like back then, like if you were to get famous, like you would, you had to get famous for something. Like you had to get famous because you, you supplied something significant to society. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like you were like a really great author or you were a great musician or, you know, you were a scientist that discovered something revolutionary, like, or you were a phenomenal fine artist and you, I don't know, you tapped into like a whole different style in your media and your respective medium. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just feel like back then, like, I and and I and I think we can contribute we can contribute or attribute my bad we can attribute that to social media right I mean it's easy for people to like get famous relatively easily you know um because of stupid shit right just mindless brain rot shit you know um so you know I just hate that, but, but maybe it's not a generation problem. Maybe it's just an American problem. Maybe it's just a West period because in the East, like I don't see this issue. I feel like it's just a West, like for whatever reason, we just put just brain rot, brain rotting individuals that can spew brain rot onto others, you know, like, like, like we just pedestalize idiocy, man. We just promote it, you know? Like more people are watching, like keeping keeping up with the Kardashians and 90 Day Fiance, than people are watching like the History Channel or like National Geographic or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like we're so backwards as a society, more specifically a Western society. I just feel like we're living so backwards. And, you know, I remember like a decent amount of friends telling me, um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Craig. I am a 27 year old Puerto Rican fine artist and I specialize in the medium of graphite. I'm currently in my undergrad journey and um, I, I'm inches away from getting my BFA in studio art. So with all that being said, I've had a decent amount of people who really loved my work and who really acknowledged the fact that like I am a really gifted artist and I put a lot of time and effort into my work and I had a decent amount of people tell me like yo bro like if this was a different time like you would you would have been championed like people would have looked up to you and not to say that people don't look up to me now but like you know at a level where you know you're highly 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 regarded you know and i don't seek celebrity status i don't make art for fame i don't make art for likes for follows for none of that shit but like i really liked what they said and it really got me thinking like I kid you not, like a video on Instagram of a girl like doing some seductive shit will get like tens of thousands of likes and views, but a guy showing off a highly detailed portrait, you know, gets would be lucky if it even gets half the same amount of attention and likes that this seductive woman has gotten. You know what I mean? Like we're just living so backwards, bro. And I think it's attributed to social media. I think it's attributed to um, 
just like just western society period you know what i mean like it's just a shame you know like like i think of like olympic gold medalists right like olympic gold medalists from if my memory serves me well like they don't get paid well like you can't live you can't make a living off of being a olympic gold medalist like you still have to work a side job and and, and if i if i had it my way like you like absolutely not you definitely would not have to work a side job you know what i mean like your athleticism is so commendable it's so astonishing and amazing you should be rewarded for you know being a olympic gold medalist but like you know some i don't know some some uh some dude who like i don't know like just does public pranks and does nothing but annoy like society you know gets like mad views and he can make a living off of that like he can make a living off of annoying society annoying other people like i don't know like it's it's instances and examples like this i mean i could go on and on and on but it's examples and, and instances like this that make me question yo was i brought into the right generation because i feel like every generation before us they championed knowledgeability like they championed intellectuals and i feel like for the first time ever we're living in a day and age where being a intellectual will only get you so far in you know to a certain degree like you will you will make waves in your own respective career and in your own respective profession but like at large you're really not going to attain the achievements and the notoriety that you deserve compared to other individuals who just make a living off of doing stupid pranks and annoying people or showing off their tits and you know um yeah you know what i mean like it's it's just a shame bro it's just a shame it's like we're we're living so backwards and it just begs the question like was i was i born into the right generation was i brought into the right generation you know like you know what I mean? So I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of other indiv other individuals who feel like how I do, but like I've always been the nerd. I've always been the dweeb. I've always been the geek. Like I've always been a very inquisitive person and I've always been the type of guy to like surround myself around the kids, you know, in high school and in middle school that nobody talked to because they were weird, but they were, ag they may, they may have been socially awkward, but these kids were geniuses. Like they were really intelligent and really smart. And those were the people that I always surrounded myself with, right? Because you are, to a certain extent, you are who you hang out with. You are who you surround yourself with. And I always loved to surround, I, I always loved, loved and still love to surround myself around individuals who are nerdy as fuck, geeky as fuck. Um, obsessed with, with 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 um you know science and history and things that can contribute can contribute greatly to our society you know it's just a shame that we're living in a day and age where idiocy stupidity and just childish behavior is pedestalized to a degree where people can make a profit off of living off of this shit like they can be a millionaire like just screaming into a fucking camera you know what i mean like it, it's just pathetic to me um and it just sucks you know and then it goes back to what i was saying earlier in this video especially to, for you know especially um people of color like i'm so sick of you know us you know us minorities championing championing gang violence and um gang culture and you know, just, just, just shunning and shaming, getting an education, like, oh, you're going to college, you're a loser, you're a lame, you know what I mean? But like, if you join a gang and if you kill people, like, oh, that's, that's being a real blob, insert the word, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so fucking corny to me. It's so stupid to me. Um, it's just, it's just a shame, bro. It's just a shame, you know? Um, and, and, you know, the only way we can change this is to completely revamp our society you know what i mean and, and and stop rewarding people but you know it's also because of capitalism to a certain extent right like if there's a market for it like people are going to make money off of it you know and unfortunately there is a market for stupidity and ignorance and you know i don't know it's almost like having like a two-year-old and the two-year-old is like behaving terribly and acting up but instead of discipline disciplining them you're rewarding them 
And now they're just getting even worse and worse and worse the order they get. Like, I feel like, I feel like apply that example to like people like our age and our generation. Like this is what they're doing financially. You know what I mean? Like they're getting rewarded for doing stupid shit and for acting a fool and just promoting nothing but brain rot. And then you infect other individuals to replicate and then you get more and more dummies in the world. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Like, were we born in the right generation? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I guess I'm just a very knowledgeable person and I and I value knowledge so much and I I champion it so much. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's gotten to the point where if I see any dumb shit on my feed on Instagram, like I report it or I opt to hide the con- hide that type of content. Like, I don't want to see no stupidity, man. Like, all I want to see on my feed is people playing instruments, people making dope art, people, you know, playing video games and, and, and expressing how much they love the medium of video games, um, history, biology, neuroscience, you know, like that's what I want to see. Mythology, sociology, psychology, like that kind of stuff. That's what I want to surround myself. And that's all I want to surround myself with physically and digitally in you know, the social media world, you know, like that's all I want to surround myself with. I like anything stupid. Like I don't, and listen, I'm not trying to say like, I probably sound like, you know, like, Oh, I, I, I don't know how to have a laugh. And listen, man, like I have a very fucked up dark sense of humor. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a great sense of humor and everything like that. But like, I don't know, like to a certain extent, I feel like we have crossed the line. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're just like really, it's almost like, you know, being a adjuster today is like commendable. You know what I mean? Like you're when, when like back then you would look you were looked upon as like a fool, as like an as a as as a you know, just a just a an ignorant person, you know, but now the, the gestures the jesters are now being looked upon as kings and queens, you know what I mean? Like I don't know it's it's uh it's really weird it's it's a very weird and strange world that we're living in today you know what i mean but um you know listen i i love you know when people joke around and everything but i i just feel like i just feel like this world today is too much of a joke like i feel like there used to be a balance between a joke and like serious seriousness and i feel like we're just we're, we're, we're getting to a point right now where like everything is a joke like like the world is literally family guy or the world is literally like the simpsons at least the western part of the world you know what i mean like everything has become a joke nobody's taking anything seriously yeah man you know so i don't know was i born in the right generation i don't know but i will end the video with this i remember i expressed everything i'm expressing to you guys right now on video to my 3d design professor back in community college many many moons ago and i remember i was i was venting to him about how i feel like i was brought into the wrong generation i wish i was born into your generation you know because your generation took shit more seriously and blah blah blah. he's like you know what craig we need people like you to balance out the dark in our world we need people like you in this generation to balance out the bullshit in the world so you were born into the right generation. You are just that that light, that counterbalance that the world needs. And the you know, because the world is just filled with so much bullshit and so much brain rot. And yeah, like that 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 stuck with me like even to now, you know, many many years later. So anyway, guys, let me know were we born in the wrong generation? Probably were. But like my professor said, we need to be that counterbalance. We need to be that light to balance out the dark in the world. Peace.